Okay, so hi dear Sagittarius, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Sagi Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is journal. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from uh, uh, what we have. 18 till the 24th of November and it's valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story. You can just skip the video. Now, if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that, I'm doing it for a very, very long time now. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So, let's start. Okay, Sagis, your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are, let's see what's happening. We have the six of cups, someone is missing you a lot. It's like uh, there's a soul connection between you guys. There's a soul tie between you guys. You guys had a very beautiful history together. So someone is missing you. Severe nostalgia. Let me clarify the six of cups. King of wands, the death card and the three of wands. Yeah. The attraction is gone. The connection is gone. But they are waiting on you. It's like... Uh, Something happened between you guys and things are not working out anymore or things fell apart. And now this person is kind of waiting you and missing you like crazy. Okay, Sajis. It's like moving on but missing you. It's like uh, physically moving on but energetically still very much connected to you and missing you a lot. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Sajis. Knight of Swords, you feel like running as far as away from the feelings that you have for this person as you can and never look back, never looking back. Wow, let me clarify the Knight of Swords, King of, uh, yeah, Knight of Swords, yeah. We have the Six of Wands, the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands, yeah. You are so heartbroken over the situation that you are trying your best to not to get involved in the situation anymore. You know this situation between you and this person is, person is never going to work out. So what's the use of even going in that direction or thinking about this person or this situation? So you're trying your best to run, run away from the situation, run away from the pain that you're experiencing because of the situation. Because you feel there's nothing left in the situation anymore or you can't make the situation work out um, forcibly because it's never going to work out. So you're trying your best to move on from the situation and heal from the pain actually distracting yourself from the pain avoiding the pain as much as you can let me see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the situation between you and them Sajis three of wands their intention is to just wait and watch it's like they don't want to do anything about it physically but they just want to wait and watch what can happen what can come out of the situation in the coming future let's clarify the three of wands here We have the page of cups, the page of swords and the two of wands. Yeah, they're watching you from a distance. They're loving you from a distance. They're missing you from a distance, but they don't want to do anything about it. Apart from waiting and watching. They just want to wait and watch what can happen in the coming future. Right. So they don't want to do anything about it physically. They just want to wait about the, wait for the situation to improve, to evolve or dissolve naturally. Let's see, what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side, Sajis? Eight of Cups. You just want to detach. You just want to detach from the situation and you just want to let go and surrender to the divine. It's like uh, you don't want to uh, like uh, involve in the, involve, get involved in the situation in any way. Because you know all it is going to give you is pain and there's nothing that you can do about it. So it's better to let it go and completely... Finish this chapter with this particular person. Six of uh, Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Wands, right? You know, it was a game of uh, uh, lack of equal give and take of energy. And now you are just, uh, you, your mind is telling you to protect yourself from being used and hurt again. And you're just trying your best to move on towards something or someone that you're really very, very passionate about apart from this particular person or situation. So your intuition, uh, not intuition actually, your energies are kind of telling you to uh, move towards uh, people, situation, things that gives you something good in return. Rather than hurting yourself by, uh, by 
uh, giving yourself some giving the energies and time to something or someone that's not good for you at all that's not giving you anything in return wow let's see what's coming towards you till the 24th of november sagis death and rebirth it's like end of this chapter it's an end of era it's an end of some kind of chapter in your love life that you were trying to protect at some point of time but you're no longer interested in protecting this energies or this connection anymore because according to you there's nothing left in the situation that you can do anything about so it's better to let it go and you get nothing out of the situation apart from heartbreaks and um broken and broken and uh, okay unhealed energies right so i do see queen of wands and six of swords and knight of pentacles you are choosing to let go of the situation out of your life out of your system completely and move on towards calm and uh, calmer water and taking your life one day at a time but making sure that you're not going to look back to the same situation again in this lifetime now i don't uh, i don't know if you are going to be like this forever or this is some kind of a break from the situation but you are telling me that this time i'm quite serious that i'm not going to look back no matter what and i'm going to make sure that slowly but surely i'm moving on from the situation and this is done this is over this this is gone yeah so because of this person's multiple betrayals or multiple energies of uh, like lack of equal give and take of energy multiple attempts of uh, using you in some way you are like i'm done i cannot handle this situation anymore eight of cups and death twice six of swords three of swords Three of Wands, all are indicating that even if it is a soul connection, you are letting this go for good this time, because you can't give your time and energy to the situation anymore. The guidance here: the Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Hanged Man. So, if you are waiting for your happily ever after, and you are waiting and waiting and waiting, and nothing good is happening, just surrender to the divine. Just at the right timing, when the timing is going to be right for you, when the energies are going to be aligned with the universal timing you are definitely going to get the person get the energy that's meant for you you don't have to continuously wait for it you don't have to continuously like uh, be in the lack mindset that that this is not here this is not here this is not here it's going to be there for you when when the timing is going to be right when your own energies are going to be completely healed and when you are going to be in this detachment and surrender kind of mode it's not going to happen in this kind of restlessness or this kind of energy of when it is going to happen when it is going to happen desperation restlessness and any kind of attachment to any outcome is actually going to make the manifestation go very very slow and or the manifestation is never going to come to fruition if we are going to attach too much to that outcome and or we are going to be restless or we are going to be in the lack mindset so this is what is going to make this uh, a little bit difficult for you to manifest ha the happily ever after kind of a deal for yourself so just make sure that uh, you are in the surrender letting go and detachment part with a lot of love compassion and caring kind of energies towards yourself and towards uh, the universe because we always uh, uh, always manifest what we are not we what what we want so what you are is going to determine what you are going to get next in your love life okay so yeah thank you so much for tuning in sagis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste